Friday night terror rained down on Paris night spots, a soccer stadium, and a concert venue. The attack began with three suicide bombings outside the national stadium during a match. Paris police say minutes later, other attackers sprayed cafes near a concert hall, then invaded the venue and opened fire on the audience. One survivor said two gunmen, no older than 25, calmly told everyone to lie down while they kept shooting. The siege ended when anti-terrorist commandos launched an assault on the building, killed the gunmen, and rescued the shocked survivors, some over ladders. The survivors evacuated by bus were the lucky ones. A Paris official said nearly 100 concertgoers died. France's president ordered the country's borders closed and declared an emergency. State of emergency is for the entire territory of France. The series of attacks stunned the nation, but officials said all the attackers had been neutralized. In Washington, President Obama proclaimed U.S. solidarity with the French people. This is an attack not just on Paris. It's an attack not just on the people of France, uh, but this is an attack on all of humanity and the universal values that we share. No terrorist group made an immediate claim of responsibility. One thing for sure, the attacks turned Friday into the deadliest day of violence in Paris since World War II. Barry Arendt, NBC News.